Hello and welcome. We are playing another game by the same dev as the last game we played, the Night Donna. This one's called Night Reception, and it is a game where you've just started the night shift at a small isolated hotel, or motel, as the itch.io pictures show. Everything seems normal as you check in guests and settle into the routine, but as the night progresses, strange events start to unravel, and a quiet shift quietly turns into a tense and unsettling experience. Can you uncover the mystery of what's really happening before it's too late? Probably not. Probably not, I'll be honest. We'll probably get killed, like most games. Or, like the last game, we'll hide in some sort of bin at the end and wait for the cops to turn up. So let's go. It was just another regular shift for me. You know, checking guests in, banning the rooms and making sure they were settled. Nothing out of the ordinary, except I wasn't in the best of mood that night. I had a fight with my girlfriend. Before heading, she was upset, saying I work too much. Never have time for us. I believe that's probably supposed to say I had a fight with my girlfriend before heading to work. Honestly, it felt like just another argument. I figured once the night ended, I had to move things over. As usual, the guests arrived and I did my job. Greet them pull up the reservations and guide them to the rooms. Simple, right? <laughs> but that night, there was something different in the air. Maybe it was just me, but... Greet them, pull up the reservations and guide them to the rooms. Maybe it was just me, but... I couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right. And it turns out, I wasn't wrong. Something that caught quite right with this with this script. Um let's just get into it properly. Yeah, that's uh, did that open on its own? It did, yes. Okay. So Oh look, it's the guy from the Olympics. Q to drop. That's not drop, that's throwing. Ah, oh, forget it. I don't play basketball. What's in here? Staff area. Oh! It's that guy! The creepy looking guy. Good evening. The name's Victor. I booked a room for the night. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Thanks. Been travelling all day. I hope the room's comfortable. Cue to get up. Ah, oh, right, okay. Uh, no pardon. What? Oh, I've actually got to type? Victor. Got to be a capital T. Yeah, room number six. Q to get up. Okay. Room six. Here's your key, mate. Oh, what the devil happened to your neck? Look at him go. Guy's going to break his neck. Right, where's room six? Do we have a flashlight? Two, three... Four, five, and his six. Oh, come on. Yeah, we took the long way, Vic. Sorry about that. Oh, God, what? One, two, three, four, five. All oh, right, it's one in the far corner. Right, we didn't need. There you go, Vic. Oh, do you need me to come in with you? Here we are, Mr. Victor. If you need anything or have any complaints, feel free to keep them to yourself. Thanks. I'll let you know if I need anything. Appreciate it. You couldn't have just found this yourself. Oh, yep, close door on me. That's real nice. Ooh, there's a 
Playground, nice, nice. Got to take some trash out at some point. Oh, there's a breaker. We can't get in there. Mortel. Right, where'd my basketball go? Did I lose it? Did it roll into here? That door's locked. Door's locked. It's fine by me. I don't want to be going... Oh, jeez. What's wrong with you people? Hi. I have a reservation under Evelyn. Certainly, Evelyn. I'll take you to your room. Follow me, please. Thanks. It's a bit late, in it? This place feels so quiet. Steve. No room found. Oh, I can't even exit. Evelyn. Room one. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Let's go. Oh, what is with the necks? At least room one's easy enough to get to. It's right here in the bottom corner. Ooh, creepy. Oh, TV's on fire, Evelyn. Here's your room, Evelyn. If you need anything or have any issues, keep them to yourself. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. The room seems nice. Yeah, but the neighbours are not. I think my girlfriend's going to come kill me for having an argument. Oh. Pointless. I'm just going to wait behind the desk. Who's that? Q. It types Q when I pressed Q to get up. Was that somebody walking past then? Yep. All right. How's it doing? How's it going? Hey, name's Scarlet. I have a reservation, right? No, I don't think you do. Yeah, Scarlet, let me show you to your room. Great. Lead the way. This place is kind of creepy, don't you think? Only the people that... What? Only the people that walk in are creepy. Scarlet, room 12. And it types Q when you exit. Oh, there's only two more rooms. That's fine. Well, you're all dead, aren't you? You've all got broken necks and you're all dead. So room 12 is up there. How's it going? How are you? Nice easy stroll. This is your room, Scarlet. You have any concerns? Feel free to keep them to yourself. Got it. Let's hope I don't need to. Thanks. Yeah, you want to get out of the way? Cheers. Thanks. Slam your door behind you. I better water the plants until new customers arrive. The left mouse button to use. Is that it? Is that all the plants? There's not any more anywhere else I need to water, is there? It's a bit on the dark side, I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> there is more plants. Why are there knives there? Do I get to defend myself with them? It's also a fork, but it's not the point. Drop. Really wish I knew where the uh, basketball went. Oh. 
Um, or something down the seesaw? Hey, what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Oh, it's the guy who shot a man with a bottle. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on a swing? Old? Who's counting the years anymore? Time stops here, in this place. What do you mean? Shouldn't you be in your room, or home? Home? I've been waiting here, watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? People's necks spinning round and almost breaking, yes. Notice what? You're not making sense. You'll see, soon enough. We all do eventually. What are you talking about? What will I see? They always come when the lights go out. What? Where's the basketball? Anybody got the basketball? <gasps> slide! Can I use the slide? No, I'm too old for the playground. Can I go back to my office? There's not even a... Oh, there is a TV. I was going to say. Put TV on. Oh, no, we can't. Wonderful. Snacks, anybody? Oh, there's another car. Who's this guy? Is your name Ted? Oh, it's that woman. <laughs> the really rude one. I am Lydia. Can you... Take me to my room, please. Let me check you in first. Of course, Lydia. I'll take you there right now. Follow me. Thank you. I just... I need to get settled quick. Le e de e a. Room 10. Q. Does your neck stay on? No. Nope. Uh. Uh. Let's just stroll to the room. No, right. I mean, she could have just took the key and got herself in a room. I didn't believe. I didn't know. Obviously, we don't have many motels in England, but. If you stop at a hotel, they don't tend to walk you into your room. Here's your room, Lydia. If you need anything or have any problems, don't bother me at all. Thank you, I... I will. You want to get out the doorway so I can get out? Creeps. Yeah. Yeah. Real creepy people. Uh, only one more to go. See, uh, well, it's so dark over here. Nope. Nope. Oh, another customer. Let's get in place. What's his name going to be? Is it going to be Ted? Can we see if we can guess these names? Q. Oh, okay, what's your name? Evening, the name's Damien. I'd have never got that. I think I have a room reserved here. Num room 11? Yeah, Damien, follow me. I'll show you to your room. Perfect, let's hope for a peaceful night. Don't trust you. Damien. Room 11. He was right. Do you want to break your neck as well? Creepy people with a broken necks. Room 11. He's going to murder me in here now. Because I've got no flashlight, no torch, no light source. Nothing to defend myself. Oh, we're going to get one more creepy person turn up. Claiming they've got a room. 
Why are all the TVs on with green screens? This is your room, Damien. Feel free not to bother me. Oh, I will, if necessary. Thanks. We're going to get bothered now by all the guests. You see? You get out of the last room and they're already calling me. Like being a real work. This is so-and-so in room so-and-so. Good evening. This is the hotel kitchen. It's a motel, not a hotel. It's time for dinner service. How many meals should we prepare for the guests tonight? Good evening. We'll need five meals. Got it. Five meals. We'll have them ready and send them to the lobby in 15 minutes. Can we just deliver them to the rooms? Perfect thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. No thanks. What's this? Cologne. Oh, we're waiting. I think the meals have arrived. Right, okay. Oh. What? I'm done. I'm off. I think I'm delivering meals. I'm just going to assume I'm delivering... Oh. Seriously. Hey! Here are your meals you've ordered. Five in total. Thanks. You seem in a hurry. It's McDonald's. Yeah, the faster I finish, the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This place gives me the creeps at night. I mean, I wonder why. I get it, same here. Anyway, thanks again. No problem. Take care. I mean, come on. Whoops. Um, let's take that one. So room one. I'm just going to go one room at a time. Well, what rooms they're in. Oh, oh, you scared me. Yeah, you did. Whoa, sorry. I was just about to knock. I guess I was a little too eager for my dinner. No harm done. Here's your meal. Thanks, and sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. It's all right. If you need anything else, don't bother me. Have a happy meal. Not even Ronald's neck's broken. What, are you watching out on your phone, Ronald? No. What other room did we go to? There was six, one not there? Yeah, room six. Ten and eleven. Bing. Come on. Good evening, Victor. Here's your dinner. Oh, finally. I'm starving. Thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, you're at the motel. Do it yourself. Will do. Enjoy the rest of your night. Have a happy meal. Yes, I'm going to make that joke after every delivery. It's a McDonald's. God, the space doesn't work on that at all. Delivery service, Scarlet? Dinner service? Dinner delivery, Scarlet? Thanks. I was hoping for a KFC. Just about to ask when it arrived. Here you go. Let us know if you no, don't let me know. Show by happy have an happy meal. And look at that parking. It's appalling. Here's your meal, Lydia. You're not as cool as the one from Skyrim. Oh thank you so much. This place is so quiet. It's eerie. Put some music on then. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, do it yourself. You're at a motel. Thanks. Have a happy meal. The doors open at room 11. Who was in room 11? Oh, it's that last guy, wasn't it? That we just brought up. Damien. Um, you just closed that door on me. Here's your dinner, Damien. Here's your dinner, Damien. Appreciate it. Took you long enough. You know what? 
sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? You were the last to arrive, you're last to get your meal, so I'll do one. You don't have a happy meal. Ronnie, off you go. Alright, delivered the meals. Great. How did it go? Any issues? Yeah, Damien were a real <laughs> Not really, but one of the guests said they thought someone knocked on the door earlier. In the immortal words of Shaggy, it wasn't me. Hmm. Could have been another guest. This place is can play tricks on your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the quick service. I'll be glad when my shift's over. I heard ya. I've got one more round of deliveries and I'm out of here too. Hang in there. Thanks, Ronnie. Will do. Have a good night. You too. Stay safe out there. Stay safe out here. What a guy. What a guy. He's not even push. He's, he's pushing it with his waist. What a guy. Let's go grab a knife. Or a spoon. Oh, I can clean up. Uh-oh. We know what that means. Oh, have I got a flashlight? Oh, come on. I mean... Um... The devil. Oh, what, Mr. Davis? What are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. He has a ginger beard. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Staying in room three tonight. Just checking in on things after the power went out. And you decided to sit on a throne of some kind. Right. I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now. I just had to reset the breaker, because when the power went out, all the fuses fired out all over the place. Good, good. I was worried something more serious had happened. The power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Get back to your room, leave me be, you creep. Well, since you're here, the reception desk looks a bit messy, don't you think? Could you tidy up before the guests start noticing? Sure, I'll take care of it right now does he own this place thanks i'll head back to my room then let me know if anything else goes wrong it's on the slide right does he work here does he own the place oh what the reception was not this messy and oh, the basketball's back yoink Whoops. Right, is that it? Is that the reception area tidied? I'm going to keep that broom there just in case I need it for self defense. Oh, come on. How was that cobweb got there? There was literally nothing in this place. I don't like that door. Really don't like that door. Um, phone. Hello? Is this the reception? I'm Scarlet in room 12. Listen, something strange just happened. While the power was out, someone tried to open my door. Yeah, it's the creep next door, Damien. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's unsettling. I'm really sorry about that. I'll come up right away and take a look. Okay, thank you, but please hurry. I feel really uneasy. I'm going to walk as slow as I can. Hello, who is this? Is this some kind of joke? Are you messing with me? Stop now. Say something. Who are you? If you don't stop, I'm calling the police. This isn't funny anymore. It was a random call. Damien in room 11. Just 
very dark around this area. Scarlet, you alright? Scarlet, open the door. Is something wrong? I can't hear you. Alright, I'm going to force it open. Uh oh, blood. Uh oh, she's been stuffed into a drawer. This. How could this be here? Maybe it'll come in handy, but I hope I don't have to use it. What? You find a gun in a room with a trail of blood to it. This has gone too... This has gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get a reception and call the police straight away. She's in the next room. Okay, so we're not gonna try rescue her. Nope, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna take a gun from a clearly a uh, crime scene. I can hear my heartbeat. And we're just gonna call the cops. Emergency services, what's going on? I don't know. Someone's in one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. Where are you right now? I'm at the reception of Motel. Someone broke into her room. She's calling for help. They're calm. We're sending officers now. And they hung up on you. That's not very professional. And the power's gone. Okay. Keep me calm. Right, where's this gun? Get this gun out. Because you'll probably get shot by cops as you... I, I didn't... I didn't find the F button fast enough. Wait, what? Oh, you are taking the mick? What? It puts you all the way back here? Oh, no, ooh, no. No, that is, that is not good game design. So now we are back where we were. Gonna ring the cops and then hopefully shoot someone in the gut. Emergency services, but that's going on, blah, blah, blah. Come on. I, you have to absolutely bash the space bar to get these to work. But yeah, other times, you can just cycle right through without any problems. Oh, oh yeah, Damien. Yeah. You had that coming. That's a stare at me from the floor. Creepy creep. It's finally over. I managed to survive, but Scarlet is still missing. The police will handle the rest now. I don't know what really happened tonight, but I know I'll never forget it. This place will always remind me of the fear, the danger, and how close I came to losing everything. Now I just want to leave this nightmare behind. Thanks for playing Night Reflection. If you enjoyed the game and want to support me by making better games, feel free to help me escape my trusty old 1050 Ti PC. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That is what makes a difference. So that was Night Reception. That's the boss there. Few issues. The the one single checkpoint right before Ronald arrives. You have to go through all that if you don't aren't fast enough to hit the F key at the end. Uh, I'm not sure where the second ending would come in because if you die, you have to restart. Unless that is an ending. And if you don't die, you kill the guy. That's the ending that we've just got. So whether there's anything else you can do, I don't know. The pressing the space bar during the conversations at the door didn't seem to do anything at one point. I have no issues with the space bar on my keyboard. It just doesn't work very well through there. Other other um, other speech prompts flew through without any problems. The game itself was fun to a, to an extent. Um, if you don't die at the end, it's an absolutely great game. 
it's you've got no problems but if you have to you don't have to do it again it's a bit of a pain a bit of a real pain um characters are rude very rude some of them well one of them in particular but he gets what's coming to him at the end so we're all right with that you know we'll take that bit of rudeness just to gun him down at the end but yeah you know, for morality's sake because he's clearly a bad guy unless he wasn't the bad guy and you just happened to turn around and he happened to be there defending himself as you turned around and pulled out a gun so fast or what I don't know what he had knife gun what and then you gun him down thinking he's a bad guy he may not be the bad guy he may not be the bad guy at all it could be that guy over there the the creepy weirdo with a hoodie on who just happens to hang around room free oh that's what you could do go to room free talk to your boss didn't think of that that was night reception if you want to check the game out link will be in the description remember to like and subscribe and i'll catch y'all on the next